we just celebrated the last bat mitzvah in our family. Out of our five children, well, they've all had their bar bat mitzvahs. And now Malki, our youngest one, Mazel Tov Malki, it was yours. And it was so beautiful. But I have to tell you that even more important than the celebration was the day that she became a bat mitzvah, the day that she became a daughter of the commandments. Don't let that day pass by. The day your son really turns 13 on the Jewish calendar, whether he's had the big day or not, that's significant for your son and for your daughter. And it's a day you should do mitzvahs. <laughs> that's right. Now you're responsible for the commandments. So it's the day to do them, to fulfill them. So what I do and what I've done with my kids and what I've done with some of my friends' kids, you, you pull them out of school that day. It's a day to do mitzvahs, a special day. Of course, you're going to take them out for lunch and you're going to have a special day together. But come on, it's a day to give tzedakah. It's a day for my daughter to do certain commandments that she couldn't do before. There's the making of the challah and there's a blessing that you say when you take a portion of it aside. And that blessing she can't say until she turns 12. And for a boy, it's the first day he can put on tefillin. He couldn't do it before. Mitzvahs. The day your son turns 13 and the girl and your daughter, she turns 12. Well, that's the day. Even if you don't have a big celebration, he is bar mitzvah and she is a bat mitzvah. They are now responsible for the commandments. So spend the day and make it special and do something with them. So many people call me, what should I do, ideas. Hopefully I've given you a couple of them, but think of other things that you can possibly do. Make that day special. Don't let it just pass by and don't just mark it with a birthday cake and say, oh, but we're gonna have that big bar and bat mitzvah later. No. It's the day that you are now responsible for God's commandments. So do them. Mazel tov, Malki. It might be the last but mitzvah, but hopefully it's not the last day you'll be doing mitzvahs. And it's the last bar or bat mitzvah simcha in the Palatnik family, but hopefully there'll be many, many more simchas in the future. I'm Lori, almost live.